Overclockers, my name's Bryony and welcome to the latest episode of News Weekly. If you're enjoying this series so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, let's go into this week's stories about free games, a new PC launch and some exciting AMD hardware. So, let's get into it. As always, let's kick off the episode with the gaming news and our first story this week is free games. You probably know by now, but over on the Epic Store, there's always something up for grabs and this week there are actually two games to add to your library. Jotun is a hand-drawn action exploration game teeming with references to Norse mythology. The gameplay and environment are beautiful thanks to the creative animation, original soundtrack and hand-drawn artwork. This 2D adventure and exploration game lets you follow the story of a Viking warrior who must prove herself to the gods to enter Valhalla. The trailer looks fantastic and with positive reviews over on Steam, it's well worth grabbing and trying for free. The second free game this week is a brilliant title from Arcane Studios, who also works on Deathloop, Wolfenstein and Dishonored. It's called Prey and this sci-fi thriller is the perfect game to try if you love games like Half-Life, Bioshock and Dead Space. The gameplay is a great mix of combat, story and fear as you try to escape a space station that has been overrun by hostile shadowy aliens. You're one of the last remaining survivors, making you the prey, and these aliens are pretty fearsome predators. As you progress, you can upgrade your skills and craft new weapons in order to unravel the mysteries and ultimately end that deadly attack. I did have a quick read of the Steam reviews and they are all extremely positive, so it's well worth playing, plus it normally retails for $24.99, so you're grabbing an absolute bargain. As always, both these free games are only available for a limited time, so head on over to the Epic Store before the deal ends on the 19th of May. Our next gaming story this week is that EA will be making a Lord of the Rings mobile game. I know that mobile gaming might not be your thing, but it is exciting to see that Electronic Arts has partnered up with Middle Earth Enterprises. This is because back in the early 2000s, EA released a number of actually really good games based on Lord of the Rings. Maybe, just maybe, if we're lucky, this fellowship will lead to further games for both PC and console. As for the mobile game, it's titled The Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle Earth. It's a collectible role-playing game with strategic and social competitive elements where you go head-to-head -head with familiar characters. Supposedly, we can expect high-fidelity graphics, cinematic animations, immersive storytelling, turn-based combat and deep collection systems. There are no gameplay snippets available at the moment, but it's rumoured to be a reskinned version of another mobile game from EA, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. However, instead, you'll have stories and characters from The Lord of the Rings and even The Hobbit. There's also no announcement of an official release date for the game. However, it will enter limited regional beta testing this summer. Overall, I'm actually quite looking forward to this game, although unfortunately it will be free to play, meaning that probably equal is going to be pay to win for those of us not willing to grind. Kicking off the jam-packed hardware chapter of the news is an exciting new launch from us here at Overclockers. It's called Spectra and it's a range of pre-bought PCs designed for plug and play gaming. These systems have been made to meet a variety of different gameplay styles, from those that play stuff that's more entry level and casual to those advanced enthusiasts. Each component has been specially selected to ensure great reliability and brilliant gaming performance. Every PC even comes with a three year parts and labor warranty as standard, so you can focus on your gaming. No matter what game you're looking to play, the Overclocker Spectre range has a stylish RGB system for you and they're pre-built and ready to ship. 
Additionally, to celebrate the launch of this new range at Overclockers UK, we're running a competition where you can win a Noble Chairs Epic Gaming Chair Black Edition worth £394 or a Nitro Concepts High Adjustable Gaming Desk worth over £300. You can also win a Streamplify Starter Bundle worth £139. They're the ideal companions to your brand new PC and this competition is going to be running all month. All you have to do is click the link below and enter before the 15th of June by following the instructions. Moving on to the next hardware story this week is of course this week's massive GPU launch from AMD. It's been nicknamed the RX 6X50 series and we now have a refreshed version of the 6000 series with the 6950XT, 6750XT and 6650XT all entering the lineup. Each card comes with extra clock speed and faster memory than its predecessor, meaning a slight boost in overall performance. I took a look at Kikuru's benchmark results and overall, while gaming, you can expect the 6650XT to be around 6% faster, the 6750XT around 8% faster and the 6950XT to be around 9% faster. Other specifications such as RT cores have stayed the same, which means unfortunately there's no bump in ray tracing performance etc. However, one benefit of this new range is that Overclockers UK currently have great availability. At the time of filming, we have a range of different models in stock with fancy coolers and higher clock speeds. Asus, Sapphire, Powercolor, all of them have cards that will provide cool and quiet operation and even a little touch of RGB here and there if that takes your fancy. If you want to see the full range, head on over to the Overclockers website, I'll drop a link below and let me know which card you like the look of. Prices start at just $399.95. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Overclockers News Weekly. Remember to go on over and enter that incredible competition so you can upgrade your gaming setup, give this video a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this week's episode and I'll catch you again in the next one.